Hey guys, there here and welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to fix any issues you may be having with an MKV recording, specifically when you need to remux it or convert it to MP4. This is mainly addressing OBS's current end issue they said they will be not fixing. Um, essentially what happens is when you record an MKV recording, and this only happens with MKV, not any other type of recording, but when you record MKV, it's recorded in CFR, right, which is constant frame rate. But when you remux it using OBS, it changes it to variable frame rate. When I first discovered this, people denied it happening, but then I used media info and they realized that it was happening. And so we had a conversation about this and essentially they said they aren't going to fix the issue because allegedly somebody, I'm trying to remember, one guy said that like not everybody records in 60 FPS and that if it was 30 FPS, the issue wouldn't happen so that led to the conclusion that they weren't going to fix the issue because i guess quote unquote majority of people you record in 30 fps for mkv specifically which i find incredibly dumb and i don't know why they wouldn't fix it but anyways this is really going to take like two seconds and it's going to fix itself anyways so this is what you're going to do um you need to install ffmpeg i will provide a link in the description um it doesn't matter where you have it. I just keep mine like right here. Like, where is it? Where did, where did it be at? Right here. So I just install it there. But if you, you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, so you're going to create a text document. So you're going to go to new. And then you're going to go to text document. When it's created, you're going to open it up. And you're going to use this code right here. This is also in the description. Just copy and paste it in there. I already have a bat file made, so I, I don't need to do this, but copy and paste this code again in the description in there and change this to wherever you installed FFmpeg and make sure you have FFmpeg.exe. Uh, you know, okay. Once that's done, file, save as, all files, and then call it whatever you want, .bat. I preferably want this in the FFmpeg folder. It doesn't have to be. You can put it wherever you want, but you need to. You can't move it because then you mess up the whole command thing. Um, once this is created, then you're going to open Registry Editor. Oops. So you're going to open up H key underscore classes underscore root asterisk shell, and you're going to right click shell new and key, this is gonna create a folder. I called mine MKV to MP4. You can call it whatever you want. I'm actually gonna rename that. I just don't want it to be like that. There we go. And then you're gonna right click this, new, key again, and you're gonna call it specifically command. Okay, in command, you're gonna have this, default key, double click it, and you're gonna input this. This is going to be wherever you have your bat file. So obviously this will be changed to wherever you have your bat file located. And don't forget the quotes and after this, the quote 1% quote. Once that is done, it is super easy to use. All you have to do is I'm going to open this folder. I have a recording right here. I'm going to right click and you will see it right here. MKV to MP4. Look at that, right there. And it is CFR, not VFR. So it's great and it works. This will fix any timeline issues you may be having because a lot of people don't know this when they remux using OBS. Again, because I cannot stress this enough, this issue only happens for people that use MKV files. You will notice that you may be having some like stuttering or lag or some sort of issue in editing. This is it, trust me. Look back at your recordings that you remuxed in OBS guaranteed using media info it's going to tell you that it's a variable frame rate unless for some weird reason that they fix this issue i to my understanding they didn't i had a conversation about this on their discord and again as i said at the beginning of this video but i'll say again they told me let me rephrase one of them one of them told me that it is unlikely that it's going to be fixed because even if they changed the the code that they use it would cause issues for people who then use 30 FPS. And they said, well, because majority of people that use 30 FPS, 
record an MTV, we're not going to fix it. So it sucks, but this is your solution. And to be honest, I like it better than OBS. So here you go. You're welcome.